Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rico the Opinionist. Welcome to my opinionist page where I share thoughts about everything under the sun. And um, what else? Oh, make sure you go down and like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe uh, this video, this page. And there are some uh, cool links in my description box on this YouTube channel uh, where you can click on. I have a link for my my Cash App, my PayPal, the, the link to where you can get a, a preview of my short story and purchase it if you like. And I have um, uh, a link to my nonprofit that's called Black Man Mojo. The name should uh, speak for itself. And but, but anyway, over the past week, we've lost some wonderful people in our community. And I just want to take this time to acknowledge them. Uh, first, uh, first person we lost in this in this past week uh, was uh, our man Debo, which I did a video on him. So stay on the page, just click for it. Or Tiny Liston Jr. Still rest in peace, to the brother. But also we lost Natalie Natalie Dizelle Reed, uh, who was an actress. She acted in the movie Baps, and she was on the the. Uh, the three-year run series with uh, rapper Eve, the show called Eve, and I watched all three years of that. And uh, what's so significant about Natalie, I guess for me, is she went to Grambling State University like I did, and I and I um, I think she was on the radio like KJRM. She, I think she had a night show there. So rest in peace to Natalie. She was only fifty-three years old. She survived by children and a husband. And uh, she was currently working on the, uh, a stage revival of the movie Baps. And, uh, you know, it was just something that was sudden. And uh, rest in peace, sister. Going to miss you, fellow Graham tonight. And, uh, you know, condolences to her family. And next we have country great country music legend Charlie Pride. There were some discrepancies about his birthday. Some people said 82. At first, I thought it was 82 because I made a video, you know, saying he was 82 years old. But uh, when went to Wikipedia, it said he was born in 1934 instead of 1938. So if it was 1934, which it says here in Sledge, Mississippi, he's actually he was actually 86 years old, and still uh, Charlie Pride. Probably a lot of us probably didn't know of him. Because he's a country music singer, singer, but he was very significant in the world of country music. You know, country music has had a long history and continue to do so of being very territorial about who's allowed to be played or on country music radio. Uh, most uh, recent example is the young guy who did the song Old Town Road and how country fans just uh, got an uproar. Uh, had to take a, a country veteran like Billy Ray Cyrus to help really push him over to get him uh, to uh, the country fan, the country format. And uh, But Charlie Pride opened the door for people like this young man. He opened the door for, there are two biracial guys, I don't know their names, and most recently a black female was being honored in country music. So he opened doors for black artists who love country music to actually get fair play in uh, in the genre of country music. And I want to say to country fans, y'all know, I'm trying not to say it, but, you know, white folks, come on. Y'all know black people, when we get into whatever it is we, we get into, be it sports or be it academia or be it politics, we get in and we do well. So go ahead. Open the doors uh, to the Grand Ole Opry to black people who want to sing country music. Charlie Pride is a shining example of excellence when he when he fought and scratched his way into the Grand Ole Opry. He performed, outperformed, he overperformed. He was excellent, and uh, one of his songs that came through because. Uh, Wait a minute, let me, let me stop right there. He won Grammys, he won American Music Awards, and he won Country Music Awards. He went across all genres, being a country singer. Just like Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift and all those get to do, they go from country to pop and, and all of that. Miley Cyrus even got to go to hip-hop. <laughs> and that's something. So, Charlie Pride opened the door. 
he was one of those pioneers uh, until I read further someone before him but for me it was Charlie Pride and one of his songs he, he sang many but the one that was most popular was uh, let me see if I can uh, sing the chorus <clears throat> you've got to kiss an angel good morning and let her know you think about her when you're gone y'all remember that <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlie Pride, to your children. Condolences to your children, your grandchildren, your entire family, man. We appreciate you, and you're already missed. And by the way, one last note to, to the country music world. I have another Gramlinite, a young woman who went to Gramlin State University, who's been working, I know, for the past 20 years, trying to really get in the country music, really get on that Grand Opry, and be just as popular as... Charlie Pride was, and these latest folks who've been able to get in. Her name is Miko Marks. Hey, Miko, what's up? Yes, I've been listening to you on YouTube. I've been checking you out on Facebook, and, I, I, and I'm and i a supporter. I love the way you sing. You do so well in country music, and I wish the country music, music audience would also give you that chance to really stand next to Carrie Underwood and one of these, American, and these country music awards. So anyway... Charlie Pryor, we love you, bro. Dizelle, Natalie Dizelle, we love you. Tiny Lister, we love you. Peace.